Hello YouTube! As some of you might know, it's Intel stepping back into the graphics card industry and releasing their first discrete graphics card in over 20 years. Their last discrete graphics card was released back in 98 and 99 and called the Intel i740 and 752. But those graphics cards wasn't really competitive on the market. Then, 10 years later, Intel started the Lower B project but that project was suspended back in 2010. Here, January of this year, Intel showcased the GG1, and then the new thing started to get real serious. And here we are, three months later, and Intel have finally managed to release the first discrete XE graphics card. And here it is, it's the Eiffel 6500. This card is based on the Actic sound architectures and features 32 GB of high bandwidth LMNOP RAM, and have a GPU with 4096 execution units running at 2.2 GHz and have a TDP of 400 watts. Specification wise should this card be a real competition for NVIDIA and it has a price tag of only 1000 US dollars. Before I take this card for a test run, I will disassemble it to show you what Intel have hidden underneath this route. And here is the PCB. This board is really special because it's fully modular, which means you can operate the GPU or the VGA RAM without replacing the entire card. And when you look here on the top, you can see uh, two dip switches for adjusting the voltages. And I believe the socket is the same as used on Intel Pi code processors. And here's the GPU. Yeah, it's really nice. I love this design and hope to see more like this in the future. The card is now mounted on my test setup. We will just have to see if it's working. And it seems like it's working. Let's try and run a performance test on it. The test software that I'm using is the good old Trollworthy Bunkeholder Max 3.0. So yeah, let's start it. And yeah, the test is now complete. And you can see the card have got a score of 520 Banco coins, which is fantastic. And it's about 30% faster than NVIDIA's RTX 2080 Ti Super. So NVIDIA is now officially dethroned. But NVIDIA isn't the only company that Intel are planning to kick in the dirt. They also take the fight back up against AMD. And you see the card have got this little switch on top where you can change from a GPU mode to CPU mode and that way the card will act like a motherboard and as you can see on the back plate here the card have a little hatch and when you open it you can find some SATA ports PC Express interfaces and some USB connectors so this way the card replaces both your processor and motherboard as you get a system with 32 GB of memory and a 4096 core processor for just half the price of AMD's Ryzen Fred River if you enjoyed this video, please consider pressing that subscribe button and maybe check out my other content. You must have a nice day. Bye.